losing trust from the distance I think we should rule out the limit for now Cause we're falling apart This is your sign to get these curly braids because they're giving. <laughs> they're giving. Oh, I must be dreaming. Dreaming. I must be dreaming. All right, you guys, what's good? It's your girl Kyla back again with another freaking video. And right now I'm just showing off my hairstyle. I just thought it was so cute. Like I actually took pictures with this hairstyle and I did a vlog, but that's a different video, but. What? Come on. <laughs> let me stop. Yeah, y'all, let me stop. Let's get into the video. So I'm gonna be starting off by just showing you guys what the hair looks like before I added the curls so you guys can see a nice little before and after. I also have a tutorial of me actually doing these braids on myself so if you guys wanna see that, I will also put the video up here. But now I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm using. You're also gonna need a crochet needle and some curlers for the ends, but those are optional. And also two hair ties and some got to be glue. I actually don't remember the exact hair that I got because I've had this hair in my bathroom for like forever But it's basically just some curly crochet hair So starting out, I'm just gonna separate the hair and you want them to kind of be pretty Relatively small strands and I separated them to about that size Yeah, so you guys let's go on and get started So I have this little stand that helps me separate the hair. It's so useful guys. I got it from Walmart for like $10 but I'm gonna go ahead and separate my hair off so that I know which sections I need to focus on and which braids I'm gonna do at a time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the hair and you're gonna add the got to be glue on the hair before you even crochet it in. It makes the hair so much easier to deal with, I promise you guys. So when you're crocheting the hair in, you want to just crochet the needle through the braid. And then we're gonna add the hair, close the latch, and pull the hair through on one end only. You're gonna leave one strand of hair on each side. So on basically this part, I'm just gonna focus on showing you guys how to crochet the hair in. It's relatively simple if you know how to crochet, but if you don't, maybe practice before. But the method I'm using is one that I saw on TikTok. It basically is just crocheting the hair through and you're just gonna tie the hair to the braid. If you just simply crochet it in, it's gonna be loose. So you wanna tie it and make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. I saw that when I only tied it once, they still were kinda loose. And I'm gonna go in and I'm actually gonna tie it twice to ensure that it's not gonna go anywhere because I don't wanna have to do this process all over again. And as you guys can see, I'm pulling it and it's not going anywhere. After the braid is in, I also added some of my beeswax. I'll put a picture of it in here. So yeah, I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna do the same technique on all the braids. I'm just gonna tie it twice and then move on to the next one. So as you guys can see, tying it really ensures its security in the braid. You don't wanna do all this and then the hair just slips right out of the braid. And some of the hair tends to get frizzy. So I actually saw the got to be method on Instagram from a braider, so shout out to you. I forgot your Instagram girl, but shout out to you for showing me this technique because the got to be glue and the beeswax really reduces the frizz, you guys. So yeah, same method. We're gonna take one strand and tie it underneath the other. And make sure that you're tying it towards the back because you don't wanna see the tie in the front of the braid.
As I kept going throughout the video, using the beeswax actually made the curls way more defined than the Gatsby glue, and I kind of just went in and used both. So this is a little close-up of me crocheting the hair into the braid. I tried to do it towards the top because the hair was pretty long, so I wanted to go down pretty much as far as my braids went. And as you guys saw, my braids were pretty much butt length, so the hair needed to be pretty long. I wanted it to blend pretty well, so I went in and I stretched out the hair with the beeswax. And I saw that since it is such a firm hold, it really stretched the hair out to the length that I wanted. It also kind of gave a straighter curl look, which is kind of what I was going for, so I really like that. So this is pretty much how half of my head is looking and I'm really liking the curls. I just feel like it makes your hair pop more when you have a little more decoration in it. So we're going in, adding the hair, locking it in, pulling it through. And guys, make sure you're holding one strand on the end because if you don't, both strands are going to go through the crochet and you're going to have to start over. I also found that with some of the bulkier curls that I had, if you separated them, they looked a thousand percent better. I wanted my curls to be kind of small and straight, a little on the thinner side. So it wouldn't be so much extra hair and I really found that separating the strands with beeswax really, really helped. And also adding the beeswax before you crochet it helps reduce frizz also. So this is how we come in and I really like it y'all. I'm not adding hair to every single braid. I'm picking out like every other braid and especially in the back I kind of just did the ones towards the top because you couldn't really see the ones in the bottom. And we're just going to go in and do that same method, crocheting it in, tying it twice and then using the beeswax and got to be to straighten out the curls. The process of doing these braids actually took me about seven hours because I did them on myself and they're medium sized and they're butt length. So yeah, they did take me a while. But the process of adding in the curly hair didn't take me that long. It took me maybe about an hour. I was taking breaks in between. So it's a very quick additive if you want to refresh your old braids or if you just want to have the boho look to your knotless braids. I don't know who came up with this hairstyle, but they deserve a round of applause because these came out super cute. It just gave my braids a whole new look and I just, I love it. So yeah, this is me feeling myself. <laughs> I just thought they looked so cute. Um, Y'all can see my braids are not fresh. <laughs> they definitely have been in my head for about two weeks now, but I wanted to do something different before I took them out. So when I finished adding all the curls, I went ahead and separated them out from my braids and added some more beeswax and got to be. It really helped to find the curls, y'all. Like both of these products, I definitely recommend if you're adding this hair or if you already have this hairstyle, I definitely recommend buying these products if you wanna keep your curls fresh and not crunchy and frizzy.
The last step, I'm gonna go in with some foaming mousse just to smooth everything out. I'm gonna add it to the hair and my braids just so that they have a nice cohesive look. So this is an optional step, but I'm gonna also go in and curl the ends of the braids so that it just looks curly all around and I really get that boho look. And I got these rollers from the Beauty Supply Store. They were maybe about $2 a pack, y'all. And I only ended up using about 10 of them on my entire head. You're just gonna go in, add the foaming mousse, and you're gonna curl the ends of about three to four braids. I used about four curlers on half my head, so you really don't need that many. I've also seen people use flexi rods, so if you don't have these, don't worry. But this is the finished look. Okay guys, so it's actually the next day and I wanted to come and show you guys the actual finished product with the curly ends and everything. First of all, let's just take a moment of appreciation for these curls. Like, they look magnificent. But also, I gotta show you guys the ends because, yay! They look so cute. I'm so glad that I decided to do this, y'all. If y'all are thinking about revamping your braids or if you just wanna add the curls, the boho style, all that to your braids, definitely do it because as you guys can see, it just changed the whole dynamic of my braids. Like, so cute. But let me show y'all the bottom too. Period. That's all I gotta say is period because these just look so freaking good. But thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me add the boho style to my regular knotless braids. It's definitely giving. So if you guys want to try this out, I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you guys leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Or if you guys want to see more tutorials on my channel, make sure y'all comment down below because I can definitely get that out for you guys. I love doing videos that you guys request for me and especially videos that are helpful for the both of us because I didn't even know this was possible. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's just the ends getting too like, <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I will see you guys in the next one.